this universe is composed of atoms and when these atoms connect in a meaningful way chemicals and when these chemicals interact in a meaningful way organized way we find living systems and the study of these living systems if it is in plants botany if it is animals zoology well we all know that but the question of today is how a zoology a core biology student a zoology and a botany student can become a space researcher in future well it seems like far sighted dream right like alice in wonderland well no in the 2023 um, manifesto of isro now isro is a organization which plants people on moon no not people yet but yeah of course in future it will so in it, their manifesto in 2023 they have outlined biology at least five to seven times and while i was studying this manifesto i realized that actually future scientist in isro will be actually hardcore biologist that is zoology and botany that made me think that i must pass on this information to all of you that how can you become a future researcher in isro or nasa well let's make things and break things um, in a systematic manner so that it is easier for you to understand first things first first logical step india has already taken by landing their mission on moon chandrayaan 3 well that obviously means that if we know how to land the next logical step will be landing a human on moon or probably exploring moon for resources and then landing the human and creating a colony well that's a far fetched dream but we know how fast dreams come true in the world of technology right so that is where isro is actively inviting proposals from hardcore biologists now if humans have to go to the moon or mars for that matter like nasa is targeting mars if uh, our isro is targeting the moon we obviously know that even before our humans go the plants must survive and even before the plants survive the marine organisms the marine plants should survive there right or the marine microorganisms should survive there because they survive in the worst of the uh conditions also right under heavy pressure below the in the uh, in the ocean bed right so basically isro and of course nasa are is going to in the very near future invite hardcore zoologist and hardcore botanist in their team now this obviously means that you have to get started and keep pursuing your science in a in the best manner possible and you have to be the top notch scientist in india or the world to get invited there and how that will happen well start with your bachelor's and master's and phd and make sure that you are the best in the world for your domain now what exactly our um, space organizations are going to do is the logical step they have taken is physically being there on moon the next logical step will be exploring moon for resources and i'm sure that will happen in the next 6 months to 8 months and you will see because the manifesto has come in 2023 you will see isro inviting proposals from biologists that is zoologist and botanist who are scientists right now or in the near future so what i can say is in the next 7 years you will see isro inviting srf jrf and phd candidates and postdoc candidates and senior scientists in their team to create five approaches okay so now these five approaches i'm keeping as a secret because i'm going to discuss in the next video which i'll post on our youtube channel so stay tuned and stay stay subscribed but for now this is the data which i wanted to pass on that hardcore biologists are going to be in fashion like i think that's the best which is which can happen now what will happen to the applied biologists like biotechnologist microbiologist biochemist um, you know molecular biologist and cell biologist well wait hold on you will also get a chance to become a space researcher in the future but all of that i'm going to disclose in the coming videos i'm going to create a space research series on our youtube channel so stay subscribed and of course share this video with all your zoology and botany friends so that they feel excited and they are also ready to go for the future now one last thing you should know this governments are the biggest investor in any country
and governments are going to spend millions of dollars into space research because the space opens up a plethora of opportunities. Till date only five, approximately five countries have landed their missions on moon, which is USA, uh, Soviet Union, uh, China, India, and of course, some other countries also. So basically three to four uh, countries have done that. So that means that now these countries are going to double up on their exploration and landing and creating colonies on moon and Mars. And if you're ready, you're going to be there as the top-notch scientist. So stay subscribed to Biotechnica and see you soon. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section and I'll personally reply to them. Thank you so much. If you have any special question, email to shaker at biotechnica.org. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.